maybe a person who's had the biggest influence on you? Well, I'd say my dad. He's always been, you know, a guy I looked up to, and you know, he's been through adversity with, you know, being laid off. He picked himself up and uh, he got what he wanted, and kind of gives me the drive to do the same thing. Travis Konechny has been proving his doubters wrong for years. As an undersized rookie, he has quickly made an impact in the NHL. When you have a player like Travis Konechny, this is one player that you want both of your eyes on. Hockey has always been his outlet. Since he was a kid, meaningful quotes were plastered above his bed so he could envision his goals. He never showed it a lot to people, but we as parents knew how motivated he was. When he wanted something, he did not stop until he got it. And sometimes it was so annoying. <laughs> Travis continued to excel on the ice into his early teens. But it was then that the Konechny family faced something none of them were ready for. We were heading to a hockey tournament, and uh, it was our whole family in the car. And uh, my dad, he just plain and simple said, guys, like, I, you know, I got laid off. I lost my job. I had to bring that news home. And it's a terrible thing to do. And it's something that kids don't really understand. But when it comes down to dollars and cents and giving up things, they quickly understand that. That was tough on the family because you know, we didn't want to say no to the kids. We wanted them to still carry on and, and for them to see us work through something that was tough. He picked himself up and, uh, you know, he made the best of what he could and he did what he had to do for the time being before he could get the job of his dreams. Rob would take a risk and pursued his lifelong dream of becoming a firefighter. This despite the fact he was well into his 30s. People would say, you know, you're too old for this, and why are you going back? But you know what? I knew he could do it, and he just had to hear it a couple times and say, you're right, I can do it. It was an incredible commitment by my wife. Coaching and stuff was on the back burner. Getting to hockey games wasn't as important. It was more about, you know, day-to-day -day stuff, surviving that. I can't even remember how many years it took him to, you know, apply, and, you know, maybe, guys, we might move to, Mississauga or we might, you know, I might need to go here, Ottawa or wherever it was, like he was, he was determined he was going to be a firefighter and we were going to make it work for him. When our boys saw him go back through a second career, it was good for them to see how hard you had to work to get where you want to be. I think it was his last kick at the can. He said, I'm going to try one more time and they gave him an opportunity and I think he's, you know, kind of ran with it now and he's loving it. He's got the job of his dreams. I believe it's the best job in the world. I know Trav has a good one, but I put my job against his any day. Rob achieved his goal and on June 26, 2015, Travis was set to achieve his, but not before dealing with some adversity of his own. I can't see Konechny getting out of the first round here and it's tough when you look at a young kid's face like that mm. thinking that he probably was going to go 10 spots earlier. You can see the disappointment in his eyes. I think it was at the point where he just wanted somebody to believe in him. Who knows how these guys all make their, you know, their projections and their development curves and all the great stuff the hockey guys do. He just wanted somebody to believe in him and he wanted to show him that he could do it. Philadelphia selects from Ottawa, the Ontario Hockey League, Travis Konechny. When Hexall went up there and made the announcement, it was just relief. You work so hard and you dedicate so much of your time to helping him get there. So nice to see him get, you know, drafted by them. I think the whole NHL is going to say, how do we let this kid go this low? This kid's a real, real gem. He is determined to be an NHL hockey player. If it's something you want to do, just never quit. And I know that's what he's all about, whether he got that little bit from me. He showed that since he's a little boy. I believe that uh, we're all confident in what we do, and we believe in each other, and we can all be successful, and nothing's going to stop our family. See you, boys. I love you.